Music, spoken word and visual art is part of the lineup as these artists reveal to the audience the Nigeria of their dreams in this group exhibition in Lagos. For four days, art lovers were at this mall, not for a shopping spree, unless works of art fall under that category as they get a chance to occupy the various floors during this period. It's for this exhibition, a group show by these artists with the theme, Nigeria of our dreams. So the images have patriotism written all over it, coming after this year's independence celebration. One of the things we decided to do was to appreciate the talents we have in Nigeria and to showcase um, African art. So today in this exhibition we have, it's a group exhibition powered by private sponsorship and the whole idea is we've been talking about people coming out to support the African art, to support the Nigerian artists. And we're very happy today that at least our message has gone out there. Uh, thank God for media. So I think it's a very good start. And uh, I'm happy today that we have across all levels, we have the masters here, you know, great artists. We have the contemporary upcoming artists. And then we've also given opportunity to students in polytechnics whose works are very unique to exhibit their works here. In the images displayed, the artists revealed their expectations for a country they love, one which is supposed to be the giant of Africa. This particular art um, exhibition is titled Connected, and it's, it's a build up on the first art exhibition I had on beautiful lives, majorly around mental health awareness and mental health illnesses. And so this is the second phase of that exhibition, talking about understanding the place of connections you know, within ourselves. So it's a story that happened around some people around me. So what had happened was I had someone whose friend had committed suicide. I had a younger um, person in church, 18-year-old girl, who had also committed suicide. You know, so I wanted to address those challenges of how much we are disconnected in our world today, how much in the midst of so much connection in the social media space, we still are disconnected. So connected is just trying to draw bringing our consciousness to drawing attention from different levels at different times. So you see, for example, I'm expressing it in a baby, and you know, the title of the baby's work is Eyes. Many times it's in the eyes of a child, the innocence of, of who they are helps you know that they, they, are not, they are not thinking beyond the immediate, like their mind is simple enough and they are able to appreciate life for everything that it is, regardless of whether they are born to a privileged family or not. And so in the same sense, it's for us to be able to see ourselves childlike enough to see the beauty around life just the way a child sees it. No matter the medium adopted, the message is crystal clear. At times, when you look at my meta works, it's giving you a message. Some of them, how it portrays how Nigerians are suffering. You can see a woman riding a bicycle at the same time, backing a baby, putting firewood behind her, then putting a drum on her head. So that's to tell you, when you look at it, it will, it will take you back to the village, what is happening in the village, people, how people are suffering. You see people queue for water, I also have it here. People queue for water, a long queue. Take them hours before they can take a bucket of water. So I like to drive home that story. So when people look at this, they, they, they will begin to think what is really happening to the common man in the village.
shaving is my style. And for me, the black and white, I like the contrast. It was, I just felt like black and white was going to be something to draw out the attention. I wanted to give it a black and white thing. The one I'd done before was colored. I felt like black and white just was a fine balance between, you know, when, um, if you want to put symbolism to it, white is peace. You know, sometimes black represents gloom. So how can we find um, balance between it? So sometimes we're talking about mental health. It's not everything that gets solved in one day. But how can you begin to draw possibilities of finding you know, joy around whatever is going on or the circumstances? I see some of my work in a different shape, in an angular shape, in star shape. And you can see the pointillism in a block shape. And you can see the other different, I tied to that one, the different world. You can look at it very clearly. We have by people join together to create fun, to know each other. And that is how we create life. You see black and white married to each other, coming from different world. To form a united as we are. things we have done as a criteria to select most of the people exhibiting today is uniqueness, originality, creativity and innovation. We have people whose works are outstanding, people who do the same thing like every other person but there's a unique touch to each of their styles. You see people with hyper-realism, you see people with um, acrylic, you have people who have devised different mediums. There's a lady here who has used sawdust to make her artworks. So I think it's very impressive. Why I do collage, I have a lot of people doing pointillism and people using beads. We even have metal craft works. Metal craft works from artists who have been practicing for years. And we have the upcoming ones too, very young ones who are just coming out of the polytechnics. Some of them are still in their the HND and their works are amazing. So we looked at these things and felt, okay, let's speak from these criteria that we have put in place. And I'm happy that we, we got a good choice. About 20 artists are participating in this show, which is not limited to paintings and sculptural pieces, Crafts and wearable art are also on display. The idea is to give artists more platforms to showcase their creative pieces while giving the audience variety. We'll be seeing the future creatives and what they have up their sleeves. So try not to miss Art House. But if you do, you can always play catch up. Go to any of our online platforms and view this or previous editions of the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. See you next time.